Andy. Hey, what's going on? Hey, question for you. Yeah. So I'm trying to learn a new song and the music says that I need a capo. What yeah. is that? Okay, cool. So a capo um, is basically, it's one of these actually, I have one right here. So it is a device that kind of, it's got a clamp of some sort and then there's a top bar that essentially acts like your finger when you're doing a bar chord. So if this would be like a G bar chord, but maybe this part is still too hard or it's uncomfortable or you're just not into it, right? You put this thing on and now you can play the same chord without the uncomfortable bar. Um, advantages to using a capo are obviously if you if you need to transpose something on the fly really quick, say you're, you're here and you don't like this key anymore and you want to move it really quick but you don't want to relearn the song. Now you're in a new key, just like that. Same chord position, same everything you already know, you just get to slide it around. Um, that being said, uh, there are definitely certain genres that will favor capos and certain genres that you'll probably never own one for. like. If you play singer-songwriter type stuff, this will be a friend of yours. If you play bluegrass, this this will be a friend of yours. Um, if you play like heavy metal, electric guitar, probably not. It's not going to be the thing you're looking for. I typically recommend something more like this, which is referred to by Diderio as their Pro Capo. Um, it, it operates the same way, still has a bar on top, still has a uh, kind of a cradle that goes underneath the neck. However, to tighten it, you just use this little knob, which when it's on the guitar lives nicely tucked under the back so it's not in the way of your hand more low profile takes up less space and has adjustable tension so generally i would reach for something more like that